Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. I'm at the campsite here at Bannock. Yeah, it's about 7 o'clock and I don't know, I gotta get on the road, so I'm out of the tent. I'm gonna pack up and get moving. I'll show you the site here and try and get on with the morning. So this is the site. It's my tent. About to rip it down. A couple other boys here. Eric and Max. Behind those trees there's more bikers and actually way down there there's more as well. This has been a really loud campsite though, all night long. How lucky are we that this is our first view of the morning, straight out of the campsite. And you know I like the big open spaces, so for me this is great. Where the hell are we? How insane is this? I, like this is how I pictured Wyoming or New Mexico or something, not Montana. I, it's awesome. I love this, because I have hardly done any riding in this sort of terrain, but I'm just like, what the, what's going on here? What do you all think? Let us know. <laughs> Crazy, right? Whoa. Check that out. Hey, look at the shadow. Cool. I like that. It became gravel immediately out of the state park, by the way, since then, which is fine. All right, so they're gonna pop, in a, pop up in a minute. I just passed a couple of guys, or sorry, they just passed me, <laughs> from Slovakia, I think it was, Jakob and Jure. So they're gonna pull into Grants and try and get something to eat. They reckon there's a restaurant there, who freaking knows at this point? I thought there was something. Will I bother going in? Probably not. Might just keep going, it's a big day for me today. Oh, it's cool out here, isn't it? All right, so, I want to share something with you guys. Probably wondering like, why the hell did Matt stay for like five nights in Elkhorn? What's he doing up there? I don't know if any of you were suspicious. I suppose I'll know soon because I'll see it in the comments from the last video. Well, anyway, I rolled out of Elk, uh, Elk, whatever the hell it's called, I forgot now. Elkhorn. On the, on the, after the, first night I spent there, or oh, sorry, the first day I spent there, so the second night. And about four k's out, I stopped to say hello to a cyclist who was going northbound, this girl Kate, and she's Aussie too. And we hit it off pretty well, and we actually stayed on the side of the road in the scrub for a good few hours. And then I thought, you know what, well, I'll just come back up this way with you. She was gonna stay at Elkhorn or at least by that point she was. And so, you know, we hung out there for three nights and it was awesome. And it was, it was weird, it was like uh, something I really needed at that, at that point, you know. So, I've been feeling pretty down about things with Taylor when I was leaving Elkhorn. I'd actually been talking to her and given her an apology a sincere apology for a few things that were on my mind. Anyway, so I was like pretty upset when I left. So yeah, I don't know, the universe delivered me something to help me help me deal with it, you know. To show me that there's always something new around the corner, you know, and that it, things won't be bad forever. And yeah, like, spending uh, time with her was really healthy for me, I think, you know. We got along pretty well. So, you know, hopefully we'll see each other again back in Australia. It seems like we will. Yeah, so, if you want to know more, let me know. And I can go into more detail, but that's pretty much like the gist of what went on. And so now we've gone our separate ways. She's actually been on the bike for six years. I'm not even joking. So, yeah, it was pretty awesome to hear all her stories. Pretty inspirational. So if you're watching, Kate, thank you for everything. And I'll see you again. And yeah, for now, just, uh, we're back on our journey, you know, after, the, probably the longest break I've had since 
since I was last in the US. You know, back in Oz, I was working a lot. And so it was nice to finally have a break, a long, longer rest. We're on the highway now. I'm one hour in, 21 and a half kilometers. So what I've realized is we're probably climbing that big thing. It's huge. Expect about a thousand meters and if I do go all the way to Lima, dude, I got like over 100k still. So wish me luck. <laughs> Thumbs up for 100k today. What do you think? So right here is the turn off for the big climbs. And actually, if I followed that way, I could jump on the highway and it would be a much easier ride. So yeah, this is like one of those road, like uh, what do you call it, crossroads in life, you know, where it's like you could go the easy way and then just get there or you could go the hard way and you get the reward, you know? And I usually struggle with this sort of thing in life. I usually take the easy route. So this trip's been really good for me to force myself to start taking the hard way, you know? So Jacob and Uri just passed me again. They went into Grant to see if there was any food there, but the restaurant's closed. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. You might not get breakfast there. Anyway, we're continuing on to do some climbing. I always like to stop to say hello to the locals. Horsey, come here. I don't really know how to like attract a horse. Come here, buddy. Hello. Horsey. <laughs> not interested. Ooh. Pretty cool view coming in here. Very much like rolling hills. Up and then down and then up and then down. But I know the real climb's coming for sure. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? What a big change we've come through now, huh? This makes me think like what even's gonna be next, you know? I love this though. So I'm starting to wonder how accessible water's gonna be up here. I only brought my two bottles, one's almost empty. Maybe I should stop in and ask for water here. I really have no idea. I don't see any people though. Literally, as I say that, I come across a stream. <laughs> and I think it's coming from the way we're going, so we should have water. I will still fill up one bottle. And I will filter. Well, once I saw how much poop was in that river from the cows, I decided against it. I actually went back to that ranch and went in. The dogs were just barking like nuts, but I went, I was like, is anyone here? Hello? There's like 20 cars, but no one there. So, I don't know, I just filled my bottle from the tap there. I'm sure they won't mind. And we're on the road again. Just still rolling. Listening to some old school Blink-182 actually. If you guys have any music recommendations, let us know in the comments. I'm running out of stuff to listen to. Overworked albums. So I've stopped for lunch. There's actually a creek, a nice creek. So that's kind of worked out perfect. Boiling up water, gonna sit here in the little bit of shade that I could find and relax. Still listening to a bit of music. If any of you guys know Angels and Airwaves, it's one of my favorite bands. Um, but I have listened to them a lot. So I'm like, hit us in the, up in the comments, let us know some music that you all listen to and I can download it and see what I think, you know. I guess more so I listen to like alternative rock, electronic rock, that kind of thing. Uh, punk as well, but I'm pretty open-minded. So let us know. I really like this cooking shot, I don't know why. Just feels very like remote. How nice this creek is here. This is where I had lunch, We're right near it. I did filter here though, got my soya mini squeeze, works pretty good. I don't always bother filtering, it just kind of like depends on my mood and also where I am. I feel like up in the mountains, it's not really that big of a deal but this is all like farmland, there's been a lot of cows so could be lots of pollution here I think. So I just passed two bikers. It passed me when I had lunch. 
And there's another two groups. So four people ahead of me still. And yeah, you know, just, uh, this hasn't been too bad. Like I've been climbing all day. I've done like, well, it was over 1500 feet. So I'll be even more now. Really hasn't felt like it though. So that's been really nice. Well, you can see up ahead, the climb kicks up for a minute. I hope this is like just the one little bit. If it is, that makes this a pretty cruisy day by standards from north on the divide. Anyway, well, that's the kicker for the day. <laughs> Great view though. Oh, climb is brutal, dude. Brutal, but oh, I think we're nearly there. The old Bannock Road, freight between Corin, Utah, and Bannock, Montana. 1862. I did not realize this road had that much history. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool up here, huh? A couple bikers down there trying to catch up to me. We're getting close. Oh, we might get a descent now. Oh, I'm about to let myself go down this, but I thought I'd just grab a quick clip first. Blessed are we with a descent, and considering that's probably the road over there, more climbing to come. <laughs> So it looks like we only have another 128 meters before we sort of start descending. It's like a five or 600 meters descent. So, wow, it won't be like super noticeable, but hopefully a little. That's all the way to Lima. And we're 73 Ks in, so yeah. I mean, we'll probably still do that. Oh man. I think lunch is finally finishing, like digesting. I always have that low point after lunch. I'm starting to feel blood in my legs again. <laughs> Swallowed a bug. Oh, I enjoy this though. Isn't this a sick place for a cabin? Look at that. Kind of cut through the rocks. I was not expecting to see a cabin out here. Cool, dude. I mean, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Look at these rocks. I feel like a cowboy. On my steed. Isn't this sick? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, I'm glad the, hill, the road goes through here and I don't have to go up the hill. Oh, this is so cool, dude. This is easiest, easily one of the coolest past ascents I've done. I mean, it's, this is, you can hardly even call it a pass. I don't even know if it is one, but whatever. Like coming down in this valley, oh, water. It's just amazing. Like the rock formations and the sort of dry, arid country. But actually we're just coming into some trees over there. It just feels so cool. Just like, yeah, fantastic. I love it. What do you all think of this? Oh uh, shit. That cloud just had a bang. That was close too. Okay, I don't like that. That was loud, man. Yeah. I'll leave it filming and see if I can get it again for you. I keep getting stuck in the fucking storms. Holy fucking shit. Dude, like seriously, how cool is this? I can't get over it. This is just amazing. I guess it's because I haven't really experienced this sort of thing before. So yeah, I'm loving it. And you know, I'm over this afternoon. It's feeling a lot better. So like now that I'm over the lunch lull, the lunch lulls. So I'm loving this so much. I don't know if I mentioned that it's raining. Oh, dude. That is so cool. <laughs> that would be a cool spot to camp, actually. Although, if you're paranoid, the rocks would just collapse. So we got the river. The the boys, uh, Max and Eric, were filling water up a bit further up there. And I should have showed you where they were, but I didn't. But I didn't bother because I was like, well, I got a bottle and it's downhill. It's cool, and also figured this river would follow us right down. So. Way back in Eureka, my host told me that I should never need more than two bottles for any of the passes. And I don't know, he was like mostly right, I think. Down to uh, 
I don't know, like somewhere near Wyoming or north of Wyoming, you know. But you can see why I love this. I wonder if any cougars or mountain lions live around here. Because they, they have burrows or something, don't they? Does anyone know? Ah, oh, wow, this is sick. Whoop, water. I'm going to have a lot of clips of this descent. Just past another suitable camping spot too. So there's a few places that you could just camp on the river, nice grassed area. Oh, wow, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I like what I see. Look at this. Hang on. Let me pedal up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Check that out. What a cool afternoon. Literally cool weather and cool, cool trails. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Great view. I always think these rocks, they look so unnatural the way they're like that. It looks like they've been like blown up or something but I assume it's how they normally are oh yeah I am getting rained on right now but it's like just um, like an amount that's kind of nice although it is getting heavier so I keep like briefly outrunning the rain stopping taking a photo and then getting rained on again but I can't help it like this is so good and I want to share it with everyone so ta-da <laughs> I'm loving it today, this afternoon anyway. This morning was a little hard, but cool, but hard. So I just went past Deadwood Gulch, Deadwood Gulch Campground. It looks so nice. I was like, do I stay, do I not, do I stay, do I not? I decided no. I really like, I'm on the limit of enough food, you know? And one of those guys back, he said he'd give me some, but I don't know, I feel bad. And also I want something other than oats and like plain pasta. I mean plain rice. <laughs> so yeah, I decided I'll keep going. But damn, it looked like a good sight. <laughs> so if you're more planned than me, definitely stay there. And then go through Lima tomorrow. I think I forgot to tell you all that I'm on the little, what did you call it? The old road next to the, what I assume is an interstate. And hopefully we'll be in Lima soon. This is great. Like no traffic. West side frontage road. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, it looks like we made it to Lima. I'm glad, I'm so hungry. I think it's just this underpass here. Buddy! <laughs> All right, oh, I should have kept the packet. I literally just ate an entire, like, large packet of Lay's original chips and drank a whole one of these. Arizona's this is the second <laughs> yeah I came in like I got like a hunger like 8k's to go and I was like whoa I'm hungry so yeah I just annihilated it so Murray the girl that's working here at the gas station said I could just camp here right next door to the gas station there's a nice gazebo and beautiful grass I expect it will be a little noisy uh, she also said I can stay over at the city park which is I mean, I can see it from here. So I thought I might just go have a look at it and see if it's better, since it's like right there. And if not, yeah, the good thing about here is they're open till 10. So I can just chill, go get food, come back. If I forget something, no big, de big deal. Um, and also I use their nice toilets and stuff. Uh, that's like the upside, I guess. Downside is noise. So we'll go see, let's go have a look, huh? So the park looks sick. The grass is lush. And actually there's a couple hikers over there and one of them is vegan. That's sick. So the Maori at the gas station told me that there's showers here at this rest stop. There's not. But what there is, is warm water out of the taps. So I did get cleaned up pretty nice actually. It's been, I didn't yesterday. So yeah, I was feeling pretty dirty and I feel great now. Uh, so we'll go back to the supermarket, the gas station, get some food and go sit up and get to bed. It's nice here, isn't it? Nice place. Alright, so I'm back at the city park. It's getting a little dark. I'm setting my tent up. Cooking. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So, that gas station has no rice. <laughs> it's like the end of the world for me. So, I bought two things of pasta with the sauces. And I guess I'm just going to eat that for the next 
day and a half and I'll be able to get more food uh, not tomorrow but the next day so it's not that big of a deal a few days have passed I can't hurt as long as I got enough gas for it which I think I do but yeah I think I'll wrap the video up here this is probably gonna be a long one I feel like I did a lot of clips and it's over 100 K's 130 K's we did so I hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, I'll see you in the next one